What's good, everybody? It's your boy Rob back with another video, and as you can tell by the title, I had pre, I've have pre-ordered the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, I decided to go with the deep purple. I always like to take those chances with some of the colors, um, but I didn't get a um, Max version uh, last year. I pretty much went with the standard Pro model. So this year, I kind of missed it because uh, I, the last Max I had was the 12 Pro Max. So um, I'm going back to the more larger form factor. I missed that, uh, that, that larger display in comparison to the 6.1 inch one that was on the 13 Pro that I have uh, right here that I'm rocking out. But uh, I am looking forward to this phone. But first off, before I start hitting the nitty gritty, let me tell you, a somewhat personal story now i decided to order the uh the purple 256 gigabyte uh pro max uh i tried to do the pre-order through t-mobile and it was pretty much an awful situation T the t-mobile app crashed the website crashed and uh if you pre-order it uh over the phone with a customer service rep t-mobile will charge you a 35 dollar activation fee so I was like, uh, no, I'm not going to pay that fee. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just order it in the app, uh, the Apple Store app that was on my phone, uh, which is what I should have done from the start because I think I probably would have got a better delivery date than the one I got. Right now, I'm set for a October the 10th between the 17th uh, uh, date that I can expect my phone. So it is what it is. So on with that. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Now, here's some of the great features I am looking forward to. Now, first up is Dynamic Island, which is Apple's new notification setup. Now, this notification setup takes great advantage of the peel-like cutout of the display of the iPhone. Now, it gives you the illusion of a larger notification. As uh, a notification comes across your screen, it expands. And also, if you're uh, listening to music and what have you, uh, you can actually minimize it up into the dynamic island where you will see the icons of the actual music playing. I mean, it, it, was, it was very unique and it was uh, probably the most ingenious way I've seen somebody uh, address a notch on the front of their phone. So I, you can best believe a lot of companies are gonna, gonna pretty much snatch that idea up. So I, I, I look, forward to seeing Android put their little spin on that because uh, uh, one thing Apple can do from time to time is kind of drive the you know the industry into a certain direction so like I said the dynamic island with this notification expansion you know uh, this is kind of like Apple's way of you know showing off a, a Android like feature of notification now, you would think with a screen this size, you can have some real Android like split screen multitasking, but there's always next year Apple, if you catch what I mean. We need multitasking, real multitasking. Anyhow, so the next big thing I'm looking forward to is the cinematic filming on the new camera setup with this gimbal like movement it has with that, uh, I think it's called action, action shots or something like that. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that a try and uh, seeing how that works out. Uh, I think this camera system will probably go into 2023 as one of the top two camera systems to be. But um, I don't wanna say it's number one, so let's hold all that talk to Samsung, take their shot in, uh, what, February maybe, when the uh, new uh, Galaxy Ultra 23 or 23 Ultra comes out. I don't know how they're gonna name it this year. Also, the 48 megapixel sensor is a welcome change from the 312 megapixel sensors that they had for the last few iterations of the iPhone. So I'm really looking forward to the camera system and the dynamic. That's what those were the two main takeaways from the um, the Apple event um, that really like said, "Wow, this is going to be a really really cool phone this year." Uh, pretty much the design, the aesthetics of it, pretty much the same. Not too much has changed. So. Um, from that standpoint, there's no major uh, advancement when it comes to the actual look and feel of it. One note, if you go to Apple's website, you may notice that there are no more 13 Pros being sold. Take note, 13 Pro. 
Uh, I think uh, this is maybe the second year I think they've probably done this. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me, like again, like I said, other companies start copying this and removing last year's phones out of the system to help sell newer models. So um, other than that, oh yeah, let me bring this up too also. Um, the new uh, Dynamic Island is only on the Pro lineup. I think they will expand that look next year into their entire lineup next year. Just like when they had the XR when it first came out, you want, if you go back and look at old pictures, that the XR was the only one with that annoying notch. And then the following year, they decided to put that notch on every phone in the lineup. So uh, I think this is only a one year thing that we will see this dynamic island on the Pro and then it'll be on everything else next year. So also, I almost forgot, this almost slipped my mind. Apple don't even take into account your trade-ins. I mean, they do to a certain extent, but for lack of better words, they are straight up disrespectful. Apple don't even take into account the amount of storage your trade-ins are. So if you go to their website and you look at their trade-in trade -in layouts, uh, whatever price is listed is the price you will get for your trade-in regardless of your storage. So I think in a lot of ways, Apple is, Apple, you gotta do better. You gotta at least give people a little bit more for their money when it comes to the amount of storage that they may have paid for when they first got the phone. So maybe trade-ins will probably be better with the carriers and stores like Best Buy. So with all that being said, oh man, I can't wait till my iPhone make it in and uh, give you guys, I can give you guys some coverage on it. So if you like this video, uh, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. If you have any pre-ordering nightmares, leave them down below. I'd like to read some of your stories <laughs> of, you know, hopefully you, you know, you didn't have as much, as much issues as I have. But uh, again, like I said, that pretty much does it. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment, and I catch everybody in the next video. I'm out.